Okay, I'm going to be reviewing the Oshen KG UV3D ham radio. It's a 2 meter by 70 centimeter uh, dual band, and I will be not only reviewing some of the specifications of the radio, but also doing a small demonstration. This is a 2 meter, 70 centimeter uh, ham radio. It is a 5 watt VHF uh, in terms of the output and 4 watt uh, UHF. So you can see here it does uh, feature a full keypad. On, on this left hand side of the radio there are uh, three buttons. I have uh, this particular one programmed here uh, as well as this button and then of course the transmit button. These latches here on the side are to release the battery. Uh, it also does come with a uh, belt clip. In addition to that, uh, on the front you'll see the uh, the A B button here that I'll feature about right here. So you can tell, I'll go ahead and hit this. It goes it goes ahead and, and switches between uh, each of the uh, the two channels here that are, are displayed. Um, here as well, I can move right into uh, uh, just the one if I don't want to use uh, the dual band nature. I can hit this uh, T D R button here, and it just uh, states the model number as well as the repeater uh, that I'm con uh, connected to here at the moment or monitoring. Okay, here on the top of the radio, there's uh, two dials, and then of course the uh, the standard uh, rubber ducky that uh, does come with it. But if you look here, this uh, the dial at the top uh, just moves it uh, from uh, from channel to channel. I've got the International Space Station frequencies in here. I'll roll there as well as uh, just uh, other repeaters here within the area. Uh, additionally, I'll go ahead and show you the light. Uh, there is an LED light right here on the top. That uh, I'll go ahead and. Uh, Get running here. You see that it's quite bright. Uh, that's useful uh, in a variety of different situations. Here on the uh, the right hand side of the radio is the uh, the mic jack, as well as the uh, the port uh, within which you can program the radio, uh, which I highly recommend. I'll go ahead and show you that. Uh, one of the things I think is, was well done about this particular uh, model is the uh, it's removable. Uh, there is a small screw here, and uh, it is fastened down in a, quite a stiff cover, and uh, it feels pretty hefty in terms of the build. I did go ahead and uh, pick up a couple accessories. Here's the programming cable that uh, does plug into the radio and connect uh, to USB as well. Uh, here's the manual. Uh, it's fairly well written. I realize uh, this is the third version of this particular model of the Ocean, and uh, as it is the 3D. Uh, this particular uh, manual was written pretty well. It's easy to follow. Uh, it does take a little getting used to. I recommend using the uh, software that's free and downloadable. I also picked up, uh, just as another accessory, a uh, battery eliminator here, which actually mounts right onto the back of the radio and uh, plugs right into a 12 volt uh, adapter within the vehicle. Uh, in addition to that, I did pick up, it looks like that cost me about $27, uh, also a 1700 milliamp lithium ion battery pack. Uh, an additional uh, for use in long days where, where there'll be lots of transmitting uh, did come with an additional uh, uh, clip as well uh, with that. There's a lot to be said okay, it looks too, like there's some uh, some hams talking through the main repeater now that I'm connected to. I'll let you get a sense of the uh, transmit volume here. Okay, uh, one last thing I wanted to, to talk about connected to uh, this particular radio uh, was the switching between uh, the alphanumeric cables in terms of the names uh, that I have a, uh, with each channel memory bank. Um, you're able to switch to frequency mode where you can just see the numbers and I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, you just go ahead and uh, hit menu. I believe it's, uh, zoom out here, menu uh, 21. And, and then I hit the menu key again and it drops down next to name as you can tell. Then I can go to frequency and then hit uh, menu again, and then I'll go ahead and uh, exit. And as you can see, those are the uh, those are the numbers there. Let's see if that's displayable. Looks like it shows. So you're able to switch between that. I can go ahead and switch back just by hitting menu, uh, menu again, and uh, changing it back to just the name or name and channel. And I'll just go ahead with name. And, uh, and it comes uh, back to how it was. So fairly handy, good radio, uh, very inexpensive, less than about, uh, I think I picked this up for about $120. And uh, the reviews on eham.net and other sites are uh, fairly reputable. So looking forward to, uh, to running with it. Take care, blue skies.